Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. Bazinga. Ha. Uh, that show's going away. Yeah. <laughs> and What's so up, guys? That joke. We back. Good. We here. We, we doing it. We in this. We running this. Uh, we are, uh, we just met up with Shart in the town square. We're about to meet up with Shart in the town square. Um, that episode, we may or may not have tried to abduct Peggy. Uh, yeah, that got weird. As uh, I mean, we were just trying to bring her to the thingy. You guys were, so, uh, five weeks rusty. You guys were like, I don't know how to interact with people. <laughs> it was, it was, the intentions were good. It was a poor, Execution. poorly executed <sighs> plan, but, you know, the intentions were good. Um... We're, uh, I mean, that was just a lot of, I feel like a lot of setup, a lot of information. We, uh, we talked to the father. We realized that he's a fucking liar. He lied right to my face. And, uh, yeah. Well, what did he like lie about? He lied about, um, the, the Isaac and Irina look alike. I was like, does it look like anybody you've seen, met recently for the first time? And he was like, no. Yeah, because that makes him a weird, terrible person. I mean, I'm just saying, like, he might have something to hide. And I don't like that. So. And I don't like it. And I don't like that. But and I, lied. I definitely threatened to kill him. That was you absolutely did. something that happened. You threatened. You first you called him a liar, and then you threatened to end his life. I didn't call him a liar. I thanked him, and I was like, "Cool, we good here." You're and like less of vengeance and more just petty. Yeah. You petty. I definitely. I wasn't gonna say petty, but petty. Know. No, it's like you're just aggressive. It's like Tom Petty. Um, there's nothing to avenge. I wouldn't have to if he if he puts Irina in danger. Then no, then you would. Yeah, then it's yeah. vengeance. I'm just letting him know that I'll, I will be vengeful. I will not like, I'm uh, aggressive. Yes, but vengeful is you know something that there there needs to be an action prior to that. Right. So when I said you're not being vengeful, you're just being aggressive. Yeah, but I it's because I can't be vengeful yet. That's my point. Oh, okay. We are the same. We are we we're on the same page. Anyway, hey, let's go. Top tabling. Take by it the to cups. this world. Okay, um, it is <clears throat> about five o'clock uh, as you guys are making your way back to Shart and Dirt. Uh, Dirt and Shart, what have you guys been doing for <clears throat> the past couple of forty minutes? Uh, I've been asking him if he wants to like practice his 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 hand stuff. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the square? I mean, like, we could go to an area where it's less dangerous. I would like to also pitch that you're like, hey, you want to do hand stuff in the alley? (laughs) And Dirt's like, what are we doing? What are you talking? What? What's happening? I mean, I don't care. Your your lightning and your fire and... It's uh, amongst all of the people here? Uh, We'll go off to, like, the area, like, by the people with the, in the cart area. Well... There's no one around there. That's, uh... That's true, but what can you can you like teach me how to fight things? That's kind of like all I know about, like with my fists. Okay, so you like you want to try like sparring? Well, I feel like if someone came up to me and I, I couldn't like firebolt them or something, like you want to know how to punch somebody in the face? Yes, desperately, I want to punch someone in the face. Okay, so this is a fist. <sighs> this is going great, and this is a punch. Do you punch him? No, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll lightly punch him in the shoulder. Roll an attack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I would have missed, honestly. Okay, so you just you know you're showing him the fundamentals, and as you're save the number as you're going, um, you guys are starting to walk up on this kind of like boxing, like yeah. match mm-hmm. thing that they're doing. Like a little, open hand, like yeah. The I want him to use his fist, but I'm okay. going to, like, open hand him. Okay. So you, you kind of walk up on this little, like, sparring match that they're kind of having in the middle of the town square. And there's some some of the people that are kind of, like, looking and they're like, okay, <laughs> okay. The orc's going to fight a small child. I'm in it. You, you're you aware that you're hitting a child, right? I, I mean, I'm not actually, like, hitting him. I'm kind of, like, open hand sparring him. He's using his fist. I'm letting him act. I want him. He's trying to learn how I to need hit. S- yeah, I need to learn if, like, there's up-close fighting. I need to learn how to fight better. Because not everything's going to be in range, you know? No, I... Yes, I do know, actually. Yes. Yeah. We'll we'll do some sword things later. Oh, N- later. Okay. Not, not now. Sure. We have to go get their clothes. What are you doing during the dinner? Are you coming with us? 
Um, and, um, I haven't thought of that. Should I? Was was he invited? I don't know. I was... mean, he can just go with you. He, well, I mean, he is my squire. That's so. what I'm saying. What, do you want to come, or would you like to be a reinforcement? A reinforcement? Like what? Like, so, you know Erwin and the the Were Ravens are going to be watching for us. Right. Well, if anything is to happen, they're going to alert us and they'll maybe they'll alert you and you can come in and mm. help with any kind of issue we are currently having. Yeah, and you could like bring my mall or something like that. Um I mean I I can do that. I feel like what if it doesn't go well? What if what doesn't what if, go what well? What if you know not all three of you are very charming and are articulate. <laughs> Thank you. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you guys don't say the right things all the time. And I, not to say that I do, but, you know, I could, I could, I could, I can talk. I understand that. Yeah. You can talk. Yes. You're also only a child. I'm a very bright child. No, that's, that's not what I'm saying. It's not the point. Okay. People tend to take children less seriously than their surrounders. They're they're I'd aboveers. Say, I guess so. If you want to come, you're more than welcome. I just, but it's not <clears throat> something that. I mean, I can I can be around. I think the then, more people we around. have there, the better it is. I'm I'm asking you, fear you yourself. What do you want to do? Mm. Make a decision. It's, I I. As much as it pains me to say, I think I'd rather go to the dinner with you guys. Great. You're I coming with us. I don't want to go, though, but I want to go. Do you have nice people close? I mean, I have the. I, I have, like, fancier clothes that, you know, that we, we have from the. Great. From the, I'm going to uh, keep the silver short sword on me, though, when we go to dinner. That's that's fine. Okay. Uh, okay. You think you could, you're going to be allowed with that in? or? Uh, I'm going to try. Sure, sure. Okay, um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get those clothes, shan't we? Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately. You done trying to be the bad boy? No, I'm still bad boy. Bad boys are really good at grammar. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care about things, but they do care about grammar because they need people to know how badass they are. Grammatically, that just really. sounded bad coming out of your face. I don't even care. <laughs> Okay, let's go get me pants, I guess. Okay. Um, so you guys go back to the Erisic stockyard, and there are the two, uh, there's Gunther and Yelena, and it looks like they are, like, Gunther is working on the last bit of the, the sewing for this really wide jacket, and he goes, Hello, adventurer, it is so good for you guys to come back. We, uh, we try clothes on now, no? Yes. Yeah, I guess. All right, well, if you will be so kind in the back, there is changing room. I'll just do it right here. I'll go in the back. <laughs> okay, and so he hands you, like, these this little parcel that's in, like, paper, and it has, like, a little twine bow on it, and then he kind of hands you the jacket and the pants. do 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 Okay, um, as you as you put it on, and it fits, it fits like a glove. Like it fits really well. Like a glove. It's not a. <laughs> it's not too big. It's not like a little kid in their yeah. dad's coat like it was before. <clears throat> That's better. Yeah. But yeah, it, you honestly and Rufy, you're like looking at Chart. He looks like if he didn't have like dirt on his fucking face, he looks like he would be able to be accepted in like something. He you're gonna like, you're gonna bathe, right? I, I guess. That's going to be an adventure. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get to go to a bathhouse. I don't know if there is bathhouse. You might have to use well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then meanwhile, Absy, <clears throat> similar situation. Like, these are really tailored really nice to your body. I look great, guys. Yeah, for a dead baby. I'm not a dead baby. You're I'm a live a so half man. sad what happened to that baby. <laughs> So young. Uh, Absolutely. Didn't you say you were a barbarian? I'm a barbarian. Yeah, dead baby barbarian. I'm just like you. <laughs> I can attack twice. Yeah, do it. Okay. Not now. Fine. Then you're not a barbarian. I shadow box him. You start shadow boxing him? Yeah, just him? hit him. Just two attacks. Okay. 
Great. Look, one, two, I did it. Lawyered. And then you start leaning on him because you got tired. <laughs> um, okay. There, there, little one. <laughs> we need food. We need food. So you're all you're all dressed to the nines, except for Rufio, who's still in his armor, because you need to go back to your room and, and dress up. Yeah. Unless you're not wearing your clothes out about <clears throat> town. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't planning on it, but... Okay. Yeah. The dinner's at eight, eight. So you and have it's about five. And it takes about 40 minutes to get back to the inn, so you got about an hour and a half before you got to be up to Oh, the then yeah, parcel that back say, up. Uh, is there a bathhouse? Get closer to the microphone. Is there is there a bathhouse anywhere that I can go to get cleaned up? That's a great question. If if not, they probably have, like, water for that at the at the Blue Water Tavern. Inn. Tavern. Yes. Or we can just <clears throat> spit on you. I'm definitely for that. I'm good with that one. There isn't, like... A bathhouse per se. Everyone has their own kind of like cleaning unit. And at the Blue Water Inn, there is a very massive well outside that the inn takes in all of its fresh water in. But there isn't like a specific bath bathing house for it. Like okay. Bathing well, I'll just ask. Uh, we'll go back. Yeah. And Irwin. I'll ask Irwin. We'll all get there. a little more cleaned up. Okay. So as you as you guys come back to the inn and you speak to Erwin, Erwin kind of goes, "We don't really have like washroom, like you know, we have outhouse in back, so that is where you make the peeps and poops." But um, bathing, we don't normally have uh, very long stay visitors, except for of course uh, Rictavio, uh, and he. I don't know where he gets clean. I know he has carts on the other side of town. Maybe he changes and bathes next to cart. I don't know. No, where. there's no shower there. Okay, so I mean, most of time, if you want to wash your hands, we have perfectly good well. Just don't put the dirty water back into said well, because we need that for the inn. Do you have a bucket we can use? Yeah. <laughs> there is bucket. Do you need wash bucket? Yes. I will get you a wash bucket. <laughs> and he comes back with wash bucket, and he has a few brushes and this bar of soap that uh, he kind of plops in this dry bucket. Please. Thank, it. thank you. You're welcome. You need towel? Please. I think I need to get some. Hold on. And he brings <laughs> back with a couple of towels and just all the accoutrement to bathe basically outside. Thank you, Erwin. You're welcome. We're going to borrow this bucket because he doesn't have shoes. We're gonna, no, we're going to talk to Octavio. Sweet. Never mind. We're not going to borrow this bucket. No? What? What the, the the bucket bucket because we're we're gonna clean his feet outside if we weren't gonna see Rictavio but he's here so for the shoes for the shoes oh yeah yeah okay well we still need we still need all the buckets <clears> don't <throat> we we have a wash bucket and a bucket there's two separate buckets we don't need the bucket bucket we're taking the wash bucket no we you're so pretty I don't think no we do need both you buckets know, do you know <laughs> how to bucket you know how to, to take put a water in the in the well he gave us a bucket and he was like do you want wash bucket yeah, and wash, bu- wash bucket is the tub. It's like the big tub. The, the other bucket is how you wash yourself. The, so yeah. think of it like when you're when you're in the wash tub, it's you fill it up with water and you either sit in it or you lay in it and you kind of wash that way. How did with he the get that by himself? himself? What? How did he get that by himself? They're not. I what? picture it being quite large. It's like this. It's like that. It's not like a huge one. Oh, I thought it was bigger than no. that. No. And it's then like half the, the regular the bucket is what you rope on into the well and pull up. It's going to be great. Super cold. Yeah, and I'm, it's and I'm the dumb cold. one. It's fresh. <laughs> flesh that was <water>. Pat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was genuine. I was like, wait, <laughs> what? How the fuck do baths work? <laughs> I don't know. I just moved here. <laughs> um, okay, so what are you guys doing? I have no idea what's happening right now. Taking a bath. Uh, going <laughs> to bathe. Okay. Not each other separately. Let's describe that. <laughs> uh, so you guys go outside and there's this like vine covered kind of well. Um, there's there's a side of it where it looks like that vines have been taking air, you know, taken care of. So it looks like this is where they frequently put the bucket in and pull it back up. And uh, you guys set it up and you have this long rope attached to this little dinky wooden bucket. Who's bathing first? Mm-hmm. I want to describe this because it's hilarious to me. <clears throat> Who's going? Yeah, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna bathe the Labrador Retriever first. <laughs> Got the least amount of clothes to take off. Let's do it. Okay, what are we doing? Standing in the middle of the wash tub naked, Christ figure. Rub me, boys. You're doing it yourself. No, no, 
You think I've ever worked soap before? <laughs> Learn on the job. <laughs> so what is it? Make, I'm just going to like make direct eye contact with it, just like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's animal fat. Is it lower? So you never know. Lower? <laughs> lower? Do you like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm pretty. Um, okay, so I bend you, over and I rip one. <laughs> you just you start bathing this mountain man, and it's the water is just fucking ice cold, and it's despite it being in the middle of the day, like Barovia is not like a really super humid place. Yeah, so it's just it feels like fucking knives digging into your back as you're you know they're kind of just pulling up the water and then looking the other <coughs> way as they throw it on you. And it's just, it's not pleasant, but you manage to get yourself fairly clean for the first time. And boys, in front of you is a very clean-looking shark. Better. You're still ugly. Thank you. And uh, you towel off and you start putting on your your suit. Yeah. Okay, who's next, boys? (laughs) Okay. All right, so, I mean... So what, like, one half bucket should work for you? Uh... Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Absidy gets into the tub, and uh, your balls touch the water. I don't know, because you're very tiny. <clears> There's <throat> a lot of water you. from last time. Warning you, it's going to be a little chilly, okay? Okay. Like, real chilly. Okay. Oh, cold. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a whore. Like, Why didn't uh, you warn me? <laughs> like, Shark just pours the whole bucket over you, and it's just like it's like that scene in Carrie where it just goes, and you're like, oh. Uh, it's that kind of cold where you can't think when it hits you. Like it's just I'm so clean cold. now. And you are then redressed to the nines. Dead baby. That was good. That was glad we did that. Last last guy. Let's do it. All right. You uh you take off your armor. Do you have any like scarring or anything that you need to describe cuz it's the first like second time they've seen you without your armor on and stuff. Uh I'll say that there's some uh just uh, probably chest in this vicinity mm-hmm. just from claw marks claw yeah okay so you see rufio and he has different claw marks and you Little see these the different back. like yeah amongst the all of you you've had different kind of bruises you see like yellow and purple bruises that are still like on his back and on his shoulder from different battles and uh yeah it's once again it's not pleasant the the water is not fucking pleasant as it both feels so good i love this i love it just think of Esmeralda, right? Oh, God, it's going inside me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you... Yeah, at this point, Dirt has brought your, your fancy garb out. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you, you're bathing dirt. I'm not around, dealing with that. Around I, I'm an, I mean, I'm not an adult, but I can bathe myself. He pours out all the dirty water <clears throat> that everyone else hadn't poured out yet. And he just kind of goes... He, you see him roll up his arms and his sleeves, and he just washes his face and his arms. We, you Good still job. smell weird. I smell okay. I mean, I reach yeah. down, take mm-hmm. some of that muddy, like muddy dirt water, yeah. and I throw it at him. Okay, go ahead and roll uh, in a like a ranged, like if you're doing a bow attack. Oh, uh, fourteen. Fourteen and. <laughs> what was that for? For? And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck you. <laughs> and he's like, "No, I gotta wash." I took a bath. Take again. a real bath, damn it. Why do you guys want to see a twelve-year-old naked so much? Uh, to be do. fair, I didn't say that. Yeah, I was I'd, the only one that didn't say that. I wasn't saying I wanted to see you naked. I was saying you got to be clean. I have to be clean. <laughs> I've been clean for shart. <laughs> I got to be clean. You got to be fucking clean. I'm I'm fairly clean. I'm a clean person. That's true. While this is going on, I'm going to look inside the well. Okay. I want to see if there's money. Like there's, a wishing well. It, there's no money in the okay. wishing well. You know what? No. There's like maybe <laughs> five copper pieces at the bottom of this well. How deep is the well? <laughs> it's about 20 feet down. I'm not I, helping you. Is Okay, so is the well, does it have uh, like the classic house on top and there's like uh, wood? Yeah. Like wood posts? Okay, mm-hmm. so I take the cloaks. And I tie them around to, to lower myself down and get the five copper. <laughs> okay. And then I come back up. Okay. We're Does going he ahead. have 20 feet of cloak? I don't know. Do you have 20 feet of cloak? Um, you figure each cloak is five feet. Mm-hmm. I have 
four ratty cloaks. So it's 20, so it's 20 I feet. Thought, yeah. uh, Esmeralda has one, doesn't she? No, she threw them back. Yeah, we didn't give it to her. Because we, I'll, we'll give it to her right. when we meet her. Right. Yeah, then we're so, not full of muddy Then we're going to give it to water. her. Yeah. Oh, no. <clears throat> so go ahead and uh, roll an acrobatics check for me to see if you can get down without hurting yourself. <laughs> Negative one, or okay. negative one, natural one. Oh, good. Okay, so the minute you're like, money, you hear, like, uh, the, one of the clo cloaks start going, k -k -k -k. oh, no. Uh, and you take, it's for every ten, Yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage as the okay. cloaks rip off, <clears throat> and you're holding them as you're like, ah, and then you guys hear, like, a, <laughs> a drop. Whoop. <laughs> I got it. I told you I'm not helping you. And you're looking up, and the three of you are, like, looking down in this well, and you just see Absidy, like, in his baby suit, <laughs> in the in the water, just kind of, like, soaking wet. <laughs> just kind of, like, it's neck up, and you're just kind of kicking, and you're like, hey. I'm really glad yeah. this couldn't wait until after dinner. I have five more copper. We and have like five this. more <laughs> copper. If you don't give me five copper when you get out of this well, I'm pushing you back in. You can have four. Nope. Five. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'll help him up. So you start, you put down the bucket, and it's like a little boat, and you just kind of like <laughs> put your feet on the other sides of the bucket as you're holding, and then I need you guys to make strength checks to see if you can pull him up without breaking the, the rope. <laughs> oh, no. Nine. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> so <laughs> it takes a little bit, and you hear, eek. <laughs> Eek. And it takes a good chunk, uh, I guess, from all the wet clothes. You're starting to weigh down with all the cloaks, but they eventually get you up. And you are outside of the well, just head to toe, soaked in water. There you go. When, hmm. That was all five. I dump it back down the well. Well. And you hear bloop, bloop, bloop. I'll be back, money. <laughs> I love you, money. <laughs> and, uh... Dirt's like this was this was fun. Uh, around what time is it? Uh, I would say it's around. When did you pick it up? Five thirty. Five. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, and then you got back at five forty. So it's about. I would say it's about six. six I want to sit in the tavern and wait for Rictavio to finish his set. His set. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hey, Shart. Yeah. Can you throw me up in the air to air dry me? <laughs> <sighs> what are we doing? Are we doing like a big old spin move kind of thing? Um, let's start normal, and then we'll start doing McTwists. Are you inside or outside? We're outside. Okay. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> is is it strength and acrobatics? How do we do that? Uh, tell me what you got for strength. First. I rolled an 11. 11? Okay. So, Shark first kind of picks you up, <laughs> and he kind of does, like, the baby, like, woo, woo, <laughs> and you start giggling a little bit. <laughs> but then he, he overshoots it a little bit, and you're heading for the roof of the inn. <laughs> Go ahead and roll an acrobatics check for me. Uh, ah! tw 25. Uh, so as you're All sailing right. through and you're like, no, nah! <laughs> you're able to land on the side of the roof and catch yourself. Hop up. And now you are stuck on the roof. <laughs> um, What's your acrobatics modifier? Seven. Damn. He's he's ballerina and shit. I'm so you're kind of now you're kind of stuck on the roof and you're looking at like the rest of Barovia, the uh, Velaki, and you're like, Oh, it's a kind of a nice town. Do do I see anything? <coughs> you like, see a meaningful? couple of the ravens on different uh, roofs, and they're just kind of like one of them just goes. I'm just like you. <laughs> I'm a raven too. I'm also a barbarian. <laughs> and you see, like, you see the wings come out <laughs> as it comes closer to you, and then it lands right next to you. And this thing's fucking massive. It's as big as you are. Oh, and it kind of goes, <laughs> and it pecks you on the shoulder. Ow. Ow! Ah. Okay, okay. okay. <clears throat> Jump down here, I'll catch you. <laughs> what if I... Hey, uh, Raven, what's your name? <laughs> Good to meet you, brah. Can I ride you down? <laughs> and it starts walking the other way, and it wings off, and it goes to a nearby roof, and it just looks at you. <laughs> and it looks like it's giggling. <laughs> All right, thanks, buddy. <laughs> All, right. All right, come on, little one. Jump down. Okay. Are there any frisbees on the roof? Uh, <laughs> there's like a couple of balls up there, like little bocce balls. There's one that says Yaska on it. Oh, I grabbed those. <laughs> okay. 
Would this be a uh, athletics for me? <laughs> he needs to make a graceful fall. So first, acrobatics check, and then we'll do a strength check. Uh, 23. 23. It's perfect dismount as you're kind of like swan diving into okay. Shart's arms. Just strength. Please, natural one. I will die. <laughs> Seven. Oh, so, no. so you're like, I it got you. It was natural two. <laughs> I got you. you. Your arms are out, but you're unfortunately like 10 feet from where you should be. And Absidy just goes, catch me! <laughs> and lands right next to you. When he goes throwing you up, I got water in my you eye. You take four points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, how long is a short rest? <laughs> 30, an hour. Okay. I'm gonna have to I thought it was that. 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes to an hour. Can, can I do multiple short rests? No. It just won't. I mean, you can, but it would... You can only use your hit die once, once per short rest. Per short rest. Yeah. So it would depend on the. It would be like a DM discretion kind of thing. Okay. So if I short rest over the next hour, it would be one hit dice. I okay. Give you. All right, guys. But I'm gonna like, go. I'm gonna go lay down. You're covered in mud, <laughs> in dirt, and you're still wet. <laughs> and you hear from just far away from one of the roofs. <laughs> <laughs> and you're uh, like, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit at the bar. And uh, as you sit in the bar, you see Absidy, you hear the sloshing in his feet of the water, and he just looks miserable and starts like, I'm sorry, I tried to catch you. Whatever. What happened to you guys? <clears throat> I got water in my eye. I accidentally threw him on the roof, and then I told him to jump down. I couldn't catch him because I was all blind. It's and, a whole... Uh, I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> I have been concussed. I'm going <laughs> to take some of the soap and slick my hair back all nice and good. Okay. Look, make uh, myself look all, like, you know, fancy. Uh, sharp. Yeah, I uh, I need That's you. I need you to stay downstairs with me. Okay, I'm gonna try and take Rictavio's hat. <laughs> no, uh, I can I at least there. um, can I at least grab my mall from upstairs first? Yeah. Okay, I go upstairs, grab my mall, and come back down. I also so, still have my greatsword on. So let me uh, out this guy in the middle of a fucking. Okay, cool. Let me hold on. Let me just change. Wait, change are, my weapons. Are you in doing here? that after it's uh? After his set, mm -hmm. so it's six o'clock. Yep, right so now. Be seven. Okay, so by the time you do that, I will be awake. But will you be downstairs? Yeah, I'll come downstairs immediately. It's only thirty minute rest, right? Uh, thirty minutes to an hour, yeah. Yeah, so I take a short, short rest. <laughs> I'm gonna take the short, short one. Okay, so you take like thirty minutes. What are you guys planning while I look up what Rictavio can do? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I kind of want to go <clears throat> off the cuff. Oh. Oh, I feel like fine. if I tell you, you can plan for it. And I don't want that. Well, I'm I'm not listening. I'm just I'm going through what he has and what he needs to do. Uh, I'm gonna hold person him and go and take his hat. You can certainly try to. I'm going to do that. Good. <laughs> <laughs> he lives there then. <clears throat> and then I'll have Shark uh, kind of grapple him while hold person is happening, <sighs> so I can idea. take. It's gonna hat. be. In the tavern? No, I'm gonna have him go follow outside. him. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, hey man, something happened to your cart. <laughs> <laughs> I blew it up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Something like we were just over there picking up clothes for the the small dumb one and the tall dumb one. Hey. And like there was something. <laughs> 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 something happened to your cart. What happened to my cart? It looked like it was. Some doors were open. It was weird. It was a whole thing. Roll a deception. Oh, don't fuck me, don't fuck me, don't fuck me, don't fuck me. Ooh, mod of 21. He looks at you and he goes, w w what happened with it? Uh, I mean, I just saw the doors were open and I didn't, I, I knew that you were kind of touchy about your stuff. I didn't want to go inside. Yes, why me. would I be touchy about my stuff? I don't know. Yes, you do. Do I know? Yes. You would never be, you because it's yours. I didn't he, touch it. And you see him, and he, he starts going for the door. Uh, we'll follow him briskly, and then okay. once we get outside, I'm going to pull the iron out of my pocket and cast Hold Person. Okay. Uh, go ahead, and I'm going to roll for it, because it's my save. I have to beat 14, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you see him freeze for, like, a moment, and he looks back at you, and he goes, what was that? I fell. You fell? Yeah. Okay, you falling, why did that... Are you trying to... What are you trying to do? 
just get to know you. <laughs> it's not wise to make an enemy of me. Do you understand that? Uh, no, I don't. I do. <laughs> <laughs> he does. You don't, you don't scare me. I should. Scare me. You don't. That's that's your mistake. Is it? Tell me about the cart. Is it broken into or not? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to go find out. I swear to God. The gods. Which if, one? If you try, Which one's your favorite? I don't have a favorite. But, like, which one do you like the best? Pelor. I respect that. Fuck you. And he starts He starts going to the... Uh, I'm going <clears throat> to attempt to grapple him. Fucking Christ, okay. <laughs> We're going to roll strength uh, checks against each other. Why do you do things? In the middle of a fucking town square. That's not the worst. What'd you get? 16. Okay. You, you're you able to grab him, and he's like, this isn't really smart. You should let me go get now. Get the hat, get the hat, get the hat, get the hat, get the hat. Uh, I get the hat. Uh, you go for it. Let's see what he might be I run doing. full speed, and I jump. Actually, no. Shart, throw me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this Wait, is going what? so poorly. <laughs> Hold on. Um, so, I hate to bring pop culture, but you remember that scene in, uh, what is it, Matilda, where Miss Trumbull is, like, spinning the kid around and starts to throw him? Yes. I'm doing that with you. Like, I'm literally <laughs> holding you by by a leg and an arm, and I'm spinning you, and I'm going to shot put you at that. That's perfect. awesome. That's How about you succeed awesome. first and then describe what you're doing? <laughs> no, no, I need you to describe the shot put so I know if he fly, <laughs> be, he beefs it or not. <laughs> Do it. Uh, twenty one. Okay, so you're you shot put him. You're like, and you're like, and you're just kind of like spinning, revolving in this area. Uh, I mean, go ahead and roll uh acrobatics, acrobatics to see if you're able to like not nineteen. Nineteen. You're able to. Uh, what are you doing? You're trying to get the hat. I'm trying to grab the hat. <clears throat> so you you land on uh his chest because obviously Rufio has him from the back. And you start taking off the hat, and he's kind of like, you have him, like, under his abdomen, so he's kind of, like, rustling with you over the hat. What are you doing? I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> what are you doing? I want the hat. Let go of my hat. Rufio? No. Okay, no. Take the hat. Um, he is going to use... We have a dinner to get to. Yes, you do. You got a lot of stuff to do. <clears throat> um, he is going to cast... That spell. Oh, I cast old person again, so I used. I I have no second level spell slots. You're gonna do great. I was worried about you doing that. <laughs> it's okay. I still have two first level spell slots. Great. <laughs> okay, I need all two, both of you, to make uh wisdom saving throws. So I'm cool. Mm-hmm. You're not there. Yeah. Mm, wisdom. Not oh wisdom save. Better. Fourteen. Oh. Nine. Okay. So both of you, as this beam of just energy kinda admits from Rectavio, you're both compelled to abandon him and move on to a new target. You know, I think we should do something else. It's probably a good call. You wanna go to dinner? Yeah, we have a dinner to go to. We do. Yeah. Alright, see you, Rectavio. Bye. Good hangs. Sounds great. What the Thank you. Fuck? We're gonna, we, ha we have to we go have, to dinner. We have to go to dinner, dude. <clears throat> so, okay. He's powerful. Um, no, he's just a good guy. No, like, you guys literally just... He lit up and just... You stopped. Yeah, it doesn't everything. feel right anymore. Let's go to dinner. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and you see him, and he has, like, tears in his clothes, and you see him kind of, like, touching them, and you see, the like, the seams start to come back together, and he's starting to bring his gear back. Hey, magic man! Yeah. What are you? <sighs> Complicated. And he keeps <laughs> moving. <laughs> uh, before he gets out of earshot, yeah. I want to say, uh, <clears throat> okay, we'll see you tomorrow, Rudolph. And he stops. <clears throat> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, he turns around and he goes, in, now. Where are we going? The inn. Which one? In where? <laughs> and he starts... He grabs the... What is it? The... Scruff? The collar. He grabs your collar, and are you in your armor or are you in your suit? Uh, I'm in my... I, I was your in my suit. suit. Okay, so right. he grabs both of your collars, and you armor. drag yourselves back to... Now, 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 the now, now. <laughs> The Blue Water Inn, and he 
not even saying a word the whole time. You're like, where are we going? What's happening? <laughs> just every uh, once in a while, I just I want to be the one that gets dragged. Like, is that too much? <laughs> and uh, you you make it back to the Blue Water Inn, and he sits you down. One day I'll, at, I'll drag you, Shar. It's okay. One he day. sits you back down at this table, and he goes, "How do you know that name?" Uh, he's my favorite reindeer, and you're my favorite person. So, don't bullshit me. <laughs> you have a shiny nose. So <laughs> okay. And he gets up. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. No, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll be back. Give me one moment. And he, he gets up and he says, Erwin, would it be um, acceptable if you could please maybe wash something in the back? And Erwin's like, what, uh, what is happening? What are you going to be doing? I hide daggers in my pants. Okay. <laughs> and uh, he says, not to worry. I'm just, I want to talk to uh, my new friends here. Um, if everyone could go outside. And because he's so well loved, he's like, "There's going to be a performance outside just shortly involving my new three, four newest act members. We just have to do a little bit of planning. It's going to be quite extraordinary." And everyone's like, "Oh my god, this sounds amazing!" <laughs> so everyone goes outside, ready for the performance, including Erwin, who's like, "Okay, going outside." And you hear click as Rictavio locks the door, and he takes the hat off and he puts it on. To the bar and slowly this half elf turns into an older human gentleman he has uh his hair is receding up to about here and it's white and it comes back to a point here he has these spectacles on and he's still in the circus performer uniform but he's obviously much older than the half elf what time is it it's about what was it six maybe around seven so yeah, his fun. set finished at seven, though. That's well. That's what we were told by Irwin, unless right. he like finished. So it, it'd be. Like, it's oh around, my god, your like, cart. Same. It's around that. Around that. Like kind of okay. general time. Oh, and so he well, walks back over, and like his, he has like this uh, loot, and it slowly transforms into this long, kind of like silver handled cane. As he walks back over, and he sits back down, he goes, "All right, let's try this again." How do you know that name? And we were talking to Esmeralda. Esmeralda is here. Mm-hmm. Baby. Yeah, like right, right outside of town. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What? Who is, who is she? Just in case we know her. <laughs> he already knows. You you know too much. You already know too much. Um. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. We're going to go outside. We're going to do a little circus act. And then you will never see me again. Deal? Mm, Wonderful. No, not no. not a deal. Look. Look. No, you don't understand. I t- okay. Please enlighten me. What what's go why are you on the run? What happened? What's uh, you're supposed to be this great scary guy thing and you're running? It doesn't seem right to me. I am I am gathering intel and you're kind of blowing up my spot. Well, we can stop blowing up your spot if you bring us in on it. I think I think we're I think we're trying to fight the same thing. Well, the thing we're trying to fight has spies everywhere. One, don't know if you're a spy or not. Well, Two, why no offense. We work together. We're not very sneaky. We Except, can be okay, when we I need am. to be. Yes, we're very. St- no offense, but I don't know where you ally. And then now, especially now that Esmeralda is back. Back. I thought you went away. I mean, I know nothing. Look, I I understand what you're saying, but we can be allies to each other. We're we're not working for him. Unless no. you are. Does it look like I am? No. Well, it's just um, Esmeralda knows where I'm here. Does she know what they look like? No, we haven't told her that. We told her you were a bard, and that was it. There aren't many, I'm guessing, musical folk. I don't know if you've run into them before, but there aren't a lot of musical people here, so that's a little bit hard to know. I can't really go back to that disguise. Why do you want to avoid her? I don't need her getting hurt, so I I prefer not to. I mean, I don't want her getting hurt either, but... What the fuck does that mean? We're not going to talk about that right now. He loves her. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but you're barking up a wrong tree, buddy. She, she like girls. You in half. She like girls. Is no, that... she just break you in half. I kind of like that. I believe that. <laughs> um, I, I I get what you're saying, but y- you can't do this alone, and neither can we. 
She's extremely powerful. You know better than most. Just don't leave. Fine. I will stay until the uh, to the day festival, and then I have to go. I have to go back to my watchtower. I need to reassess everything and bring my findings. Why? We can like help you. I need to reassess. All my stuff is there. This is just travel stuff. What kind of stuff do you need? All of my vampire hunting stuff is in my tower. Why don't you have someone else go get it for you and bring it back? I don't know. Maybe named Esmeralda. I don't think... Uh, I have different protection spells on there. And uh, depending on who goes there, a different thing will pop up. Mm. So it's not very wise unless yeah, it's that, that yeah. one over there. So, you know, maybe it wouldn't be the wisest. I mean, you could tell her what's happening. No. Why? Because I need to protect her. He, the less she knows, the safer she is. She's not going to stop looking for you, so she's going to put herself in danger. Regardless. Mm. You have friends, no right? So I mean, I would uh, <laughs> You're in love with her now. What? It's complicated. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm taken. <laughs> Alright, so, like I said, here's what we're gonna do. We have to, I promise people I'd say the show. Yeah. We're gonna put on a little show. I can dance. Alright, so, uh, I you could guys... throw the little one in the air and make him do flips. Yeah. And I can play music. Okay, in the next 15 minutes, in the next 15 minutes, you guys kind of come up together for the, like this, how are we going to lie to these people kind of act? Mm -hmm. So what are you guys doing? Like you said, you're going to throw Absidy in the air. And have him do flips. Okay, and what are you going to do while in the fl air doing flips? I think just mostly do flips. Okay. But if it, Rictavio, do you have, or Rudolph, what do you want us to call you now? <laughs> nothing. I would like, I prefer you not talking to me. Okay, nothing. Do you have a musical instrument I can use? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he, he goes through and he fishes around and he gets this little tambourine out and he hands it to you. Nice. Okay. Just like we practiced, except the second time. You you think you're upset? I've been with these guys for over a month now, so. Uh, you have very weird company. Thank you. <laughs> And he doesn't. You. He doesn't understand stuff. Just I, I figured. Why are you looking at me that way? It's not looking at you any specifically. It looks like you're looking at me a certain way. <laughs> Please elaborate. No, don't, don't <laughs> elaborate. What? I just throw me. <laughs> Look, we'll talk. Rick Tavio. Yes. I think we can help each other. I understand that you are afraid for Esmeralda. But she's going to put herself in harm. She's already been to your tower. Whether she got in or not is... I don't know. But... She's going to do what she wants to do and what she thinks is right. So the best plan of action is to at least talk to her. Fair enough. Where is she? We're meeting with her uh, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll oh. take her to you. All right, fine. That sounds fine. Do you want to meet here, or would you rather meet there? Where's that? Where the cart? Your at stuff your cart? Is. Uh, yeah, we can meet at the cart. That's fine. Around eight. Eight. Yeah. Sure. Great. Good. Wonderful. Eight I, at night, by the way. Eight at night. Yes, tomorrow. Eight at night. Eight at night. Wonderful. Yeah, sorry. I so we've got said, 24 yeah. hours. Yes. yes. Yeah. Wonderful. 25 hours. <laughs> hey, nothing. Do you have another? Yes, that. Do you have another one? Puts it on and he slowly turns back into the Rictavio disguise. No, I don't. Okay. If you got a second one, I would really like it. What do you need this for? I don't know yet, <laughs> but it seems cool. And I'm a cool guy. And I want it. Yeah. If I come across another hat of disguise, you will be the last person I give it to. Awesome. Can I be the second to last? Yes. Mm. 
in your face. All right. I walk away. <laughs> okay. So, you guys go outside, and he goes, presenting Rictavio's flying circus of adventure and whims and wonder. And my and my new act that we are workshopping currently, so please be kind. And if you would so luckily put into the boy, small boy over here, dirt kind of walks up. If you would like to put offerings into the boy's hands, uh, circuses are not cheap, as you know. So everyone roll. Toss me back and forth. <laughs> everyone roll performance checks. Oh, performance! Uh, yeah, it's thought a I'd be doing strength. Nah. All this right. Is funnier this way. This is a straight throw, no modifier. Twenty-two. Twelve. Tamarine. Ten. Okay. So I did fine. You're doing great. So Rufio, you you're kind of like, <laughs> and then you start slowly doing the robot, but it's not a good robot, and people are like, "Yay, he's a robot!" Wow, it's like he's made of a suit of metal, and you're like. <laughs> And uh, you're like, check this shit out. Uh, Absidy, you're just kind of like, you're like Davy Jones from the Monkees. You're kind of like Axl Rose in it. You're like, yeah, dancing and singing and dancing. And Short's like, and up. <laughs> <laughs> and he does like, he grips you like a, a football and he just spir- spirals you in the air. And it's like, and you just kind of corkscrew up. Uh, I'm going to say about, I don't know how far I want you to, if you, lay, if you fall, you're going to die. Uh, I'm going to say for You prosper. did your short rest, right? Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah, okay, it'll be about 50 feet up in the air. 50, you can throw 50 feet? Yeah, pretty strong. He's really strong. <laughs> He's like, up and over. And you just hear slowly like, ah! <laughs> and there's like a good 10 second of air time, like hang time, where Rictavio is like, and introducing the flying... <laughs> Go ahead and roll a deck save for me. What about an athletics check? I was going to catch him. You're going to try to catch yeah. him? Yeah. Okay, athletic saving. Wait. Athletic save? I'll let you do an athletic save and a deck save. Oh, well, that's a strength save then. A strength save, yeah. I do. Okay, uh, 14. 17. Okay, so you kind of like, you put your hand out and you're kind of following the shadow <laughs> of where Absidy's like, ah! And... You, your palm, you palm your hand as big as it can, as big as it can go. And as you're going, you see basically uh, Shart's hand is like a target. And how do you want to dismount? Uh, am I still spinning? Yes. I want to spin and then grab his hand and like swing under it mm-hmm. and hop back on. Okay. And then like fluid motion, a, he does this awesome sweet spin move and he uses your thumb as like an anchor to swivel down and around and you do this dismount with the tambourine da, da, da. and it just uproar of cheers for you guys. I yeah. Bow. I bow. That is how it is done. But, but like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> do you bow as well, Shark? Uh, yeah, no, I just, uh, I, I, thanks guys. <laughs> <laughs> Eat my shorts. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys did great. Guys, I want to do that again. Dirt, how much money did you get? Uh, it's, it's, r- r- off. Basically, just kind of took it all. I have like three copper pieces. You can keep mine. Thanks. I don't care. It's yours. Have it. Thank you. Yeah, have mine too. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like this isn't genuine. It's not. I don't. I just don't care about okay, money. What is that? I'm That's smiling. Scary. That's because I'm happy. I just did that. <laughs> it's a lot of teeth. Um. So I'll go before we go over to dinner. I'll go in my room and put my great sword up there. Okay. Uh. And I'll yeah, as I'm walking back downstairs, I'll look at Irwin. Okay. And and like, Dirt is also going to be fully armored. Uh, is, oh, is, he's he, is he coming or is he? Yeah, Dirt's coming. Okay. Oh, I can. I'm going to wear my armor then. As no, well. I, I was going to say if he wasn't coming, he would be fully armored. Oh, but got if it. He's coming, Never mind. Okay, then so I he's in his his regal well. clothes. Yeah, and I'll be in that in my new red cloak. Okay, and his hair is kind of like slick. And back. I have. Uh, I'm going to keep the short sword on my my side. Your hilt. I try okay. and hide it with the with the cloak. Okay. So and a dagger. Uh, the dagger's cloak hidden. and dagger. Got cloak it. and dagger. Marvel. Do you have the dagger. silver short sword in the? It should be in the. Uh, it might be in his inventory because I don't have it. Um, if you go to manage equipment, go to equipment and look for it. It's, it might be there. If not, it's just a short sword with just uh, silver damage. Yeah, D- I beyond. set up my uh, dagger and hand axe. Okay, you have the two. Two daggers, daggers and a hand axe. Okay. I already set that up, so. 
Cool. Yeah, I have cool. my my daggers strapped to my legs, and then my rapier on my side. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> you you walk through the town in your in your new gear. Your your clothes are slightly drier. They're still a little damp from the well, but you're and from <laughs> going up so high. Um, it helped. So as you're you're making your way um, to the town square. Let's see where it is at. And for okay, so it's kind of um, it's a little bit past where the Blue Water Inn is. It's a little bit up. It's not too far. It's maybe about a fifteen minute walk. And you're seeing all the different houses. You're seeing like candles being lit inside because it's getting darker now. And there is one house that it seems like it's disgusted with itself. Like it has a slouching roof that hangs heavy over furrowed gables and moss covered walls sag and bulge under the weight of the vegetation. Uh, and as you study the house's sullen continents, you hear the evidence edifice actually groan. You actually hear it like, like as the wind blows, it kind of groans. Only then do you realize the extent of to which the house hates what it has become. Like the house is just, it seems like it's just, it's giving off a really weird vibe to Death it. Death House Part 2. Oh, shit. Just like my house. Electric Boogaloo. Electric <laughs> Bear Galoo. Bear Galoo. Uh, <clears throat> and as you approach it, it has these iron rock gates that has this W on it, which, as you recognize, was Fiona's last name. Was w- Fiona w- Watcher. <laughs> no, we're so just you can assume w- it's Watcher. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to go in. This is not what I expected. I'm not going to go in. Uh, I have manners. I'm going to knock on the door. Uh, are we at the gate? <laughs> we're at the gate. At the gate. I'm yeah. I'm going to knock on the gate. Well, that's dumb. And I walk through. <laughs> yeah, I'm going <laughs> okay. to walk through as well. Guys, manners. Uh, so the <laughs> trying gates, to, trying the to do this open. whole person thing right. It's fair. Uh as you go through, there's, I mean, there's grass, but it all looks splotchy and, like, brown, and there's different, you know, dead grass around. Is Shark still just... standing at the gate? <laughs> I'm following now. Okay. <laughs> that's that's more of a shark question. Um, as you, and, and there's these, like, red cobblestone kind of walkway as you go up. Um, and let's see here. Where is the front door? Is right there? Okay. Uh, so you go to the front vestibule the front door and it has this gargoyle door knocker on it uh is this I'll where is use this, it is this where we knock yes this is where we knock I'm still learning maybe let him knock let him figure it out you should knock doom 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 why don't you use the gargoyle thing <laughs> it's a knocker yeah that's what, that's what it's that's, called that's what i did great knockers oh. um and slowly the door opens and there's this um, this older man. Man, He's um, dressed fairly well, you can assume as a butler, and he goes, ah, you are the adventurers and all. That's yes. That's yes. what they call us. So regal, so regal, please enter. I am Ernst. Somebody. Ernst. Yes. Ern- Ernst? Ernst. Like E-R-N-S-T. E-R-N-S-T. So it is. We are so glad that you could be joining us. We were curious if you would be making it. Who's uh, who's us? Of course, Fiona Watcher, the and one who sent you the letter. I you, hand delivered it. Are myself. you also eating with us? Is that does that make it us? Is that why it's us? You guys? No, I was saying us in general. Oh, got it. All right. I mean, I am. I have already eaten. I'm here to serve. Got it. Appreciate that, Ernst. I feel like that's <laughs> I feel like that's a dig, but okay. Uh, okay. It's not a good name. Ernst. Not liking the cut of your jib, Ernst. So you go in, and there is a there's a hallway that it looks like it goes to the right, where there is a seating area, and then the left it looks like there are tables still set. And he gestures to the right to the living room area, and he goes, "Please, uh, dinner is still getting prepared, and it will be arriving shortly. Make yourself comfortable." What are we having for dinner? Boar. Uh, Where's it coming right. from? The woods. It's kind of far. Is it just boar? 
Well, there are gonna be vegetables, and I am very curious why you're asking me what dinner is. Uh, do you have any dietary restrictions I should know about? Are you allergic to pork? I don't like eating boar. <laughs> I'll okay do it. Boar. I don't like to. I mean, I don't know if I can make special requests this late in dinner to see if they can make you something special. I mean, that's, that's something it, you need to, like, call ahead about. You well, know? if you had put in the invitation what was going to be for dinner, would it, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's not fine, guys. <laughs> and Ernst just kind of goes... <sighs> and slowly walks out of the room. And so you're in this... Uh, let's see which room it is. Guys, I'm not rolling good. <laughs> no? Uh-uh. Oh, Get it all out now. Good thing we're gonna die soon. <laughs> mm, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It is... She did not take you there. Or he did not take you there. That I is... wanna go there. I wanna <laughs> go. That's just the kitchen. Oh. Can you show me? So you walk, I'm sorry, you walk past the dining room table and there is a parlor. Um, and in the parlor, there are three elegant couches around an oval table made of black glass. All are set in front of a blazing hearth, above which hangs the portrait of a smirking nobleman sporting a broken nose and a tangle of hair graying at the temples. And then there are several smaller portraits that hang on the north wall. Are the portraits just of her? It's of a man. Oh. The it's big ones of a smirking man. It's her, it's her husband, I'm assuming. <clears throat> um, can I... There are other ones. There's, like, of uh, an older woman, and you see, like, two boys, a daughter, and then other kind of, like, it looks like deceased family members because it has birth year, death year. <clears throat> Do we recognize anyone else in the pictures? No. What are the... Um date range is like um i mean it just looks like the history of the of the family you'll see some overlap of like births and deaths like you know this person was born while this person was still alive so you assume it's just like a family kind of like lineage right but like norm like an 80 year thing or yeah okay i would say so uh, nothing like super crazy fairly fairly normal mm -hmm. uh do we see anything uh noting any kind of spiritual uh, worship or no, nothing crazy. Is it just us in the room? <clears throat> it's just you guys. No, right? is there anything no. silver in the room? No. Anything, anything gold? Anything that makes us think strahd? Uh, no, nothing really. Nothing out of the like. It, it's a very gothic house. I mean, the table's made out of fucking black glass. No, but that's tight. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to throw that's somebody dope through as it. Shit. <laughs> Um, but no, nothing outwardly that says, hey, I love vampires, guys. Okay. You know? Mm. I'm uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable? Yeah, well, welcome to the this fucking club. Fucking creepy house. This is a fucking weird place. You're here voluntarily. I know, and I'm making a big mistake, I feel like. <laughs> guys, I don't want to eat boar. Um, why? <laughs> what do you have against boar? Boar is, like, I, tough? Well, no, I, I race boar. So it feels, it's like, Did you know you how know that? Yeah. Did I racing? tell you guys? Yeah, he told us that. Yeah, he told I'm us. I'm very good. It's like world champion good. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I'll trade you my boar for some vegetables. All right. I just want to throw that out. You'd think that they'd have, like, fish or some shit here, too. Like, they're fancy and rich, right? Yeah. Think they could get something else, too? I mean, I, I'm cool with boar. I like boar. But, like, you know. Think that they'd have, like, I don't know, more of a selection. <laughs> Maybe you should ask if they have menus. He got really high maintenance really fast. <laughs> Put pants on him, and all of a sudden, He's the world needs to cater to shark. I just understand society now. It's being refined. <laughs> Fuck off. How uh, As you do, as you're talking, uh, you start hearing behind you, like, different... These two boys are putting... Uh, setting the table. And uh, they're, they're occasionally, like, looking over, and then they're, like, looking back and putting, you know, stuff back. Um, Do they look like the boys in the portrait? They, yeah. You recognize two of them from, you know, the earliest that don't have, like, a death symbol next to it. Um, oh, hey, you guys aren't dead. Yeah. No, they're alive. <laughs> what do they look like? Um, <laughs> they are... They they look very similar to the man in the, in the big painting. Um, Presumably his sons? Yeah. So okay. not like demons? No, not like <laughs> children. Do they have brown skin? 
They no. You can't ask. Okay. That. <laughs> yes, I can. In this in this world, I absolutely can. Um. Okay. I mean, so they're just they're just kind of looking at you, and then they're just they do that weird kid smile that are like, I'm I don't want to. I'm gonna to wave. You. I'm gonna throw a wave out. See what happens. Hello. Put what glasses and. So you are the guests, no? Yep. Nope. <laughs> do you like boar? Because that's what we're having. I like boar. Sure. I, I don't. Uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. You look like, okay. And one of them says, Carl, let's snow. And he goes, okay. What? Car no, fin finish the sentence, Carl. No, it just, it looks like... You know, usually you when you go to dinner, you usually you know either eat what people are giving you, or you at least like say, "Yo, what up?" and don't like this kind of food. Are you serving it? And then we can uh, make adjustment to it. I don't know. I'm just saying. I mean, I'll I'll eat he's it. He's just he's picky. You don't worry. Don't pay attention. I to can him. see if they have something else in back of the kitchen no, for you. It's fine. I'm just gonna trade with. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Okay, uh, you guys have fun dinner with my mom. Thank you for your hospitality. You're welcome. Is there... Do you know if anybody else is joining us for dinner tonight? And they kind of look at the table and they go... There's four... And... what? <laughs> the, the other boy kind of caught up. There's five of them, mom. And the, the kid goes, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. No, no, there's five of you all together, so no... Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Th uh, thank you. Thanks, hey, kids. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go to our rooms now, because we are, we are finished here. That Ernst or my mother will come down, and she will, she will call you to the table. So just, you know, wait it out, or whatever. Okay. And thank so they, high <laughs> five. They awkwardly kind of just leave, because you can tell, like, they're just normal kids who, it seems like... You get the idea of they don't like being around when there are meetings or like special dinners. And they just seem kind of like rolling their eyes as they're putting things together. Like normal kid stuff. Like think of it as like when your mom or your dad had people over and you're like, uh, I don't want to be around these people. This is so dumb. Let me just stay in my room. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, we're going to our room. Do you think you should explore a little bit? Yeah. How much time do we have? How much Ernst said like... Yeah, the dinner would be arriving shortly. So, like, did we have a, a, a like a time? You don't have a time frame. Mm -hmm. You can pretend to go to the bathroom. Keep it. Yeah. Hey guys. Keep it short. I'm gonna go find the bathroom. Wink, wink. Oh, sorry. Wink. Dirt, keep it. Dirt's like, don't actually say wink. Oh. Keep it short. <laughs> I always do. But I'm gone. Because I'm short. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay, where are you going? I'm gonna pee. Um. So you're in the parlor there is a uh Ooh. door in the actual parlor like against the wall uh there is a and then obviously there are the stairs that you you saw when you first came in next to the kitchen and to the vegetable okay vestibule i want to look around downstairs just see so what, you so what? you're on the ground floor right now yeah yeah so, so you just want to explore the ground floor. yeah i want to start looking around there. okay where do you want to go first uh so you said there's a parlor Yep, and then, so, so just start there's going a down parlor, the and then north of it is a door. There is an actual door in the same room as you guys. Let's go through that. Go through that? Okay, let me see here. That is the... Is that H? Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay, so you, you open it, and it's, it's not locked. It looks like it's a servant's quarters. There are about four beds... Um, and there's just, uh, different clothes, and it looks like all the beds are neatly made, and nothing super crazy. In nothing there. interesting? Nothing that would really catch your eye. Okay. Then I leave from there, mm -hmm. go back into the hallway. Okay. And, so what? what's the layout? If there's... So the layout is, um, there is kitchen, mm -hmm. hallway, where the front door is, where you came up. In the hallway, there's stairs that go up to the second floor, and then on the left okay. is the dining room, the den that you're in, the servants' quarters. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I want to go upstairs. So you want choo-choo-choo. Okay. 
All right, going to the staircase. It's a wooden staircase that leads up to a balcony. And at the foot of the stairs is a landing with three stained glass doors and wooden frames. So you go like up, the up to the stairs. stairs. Yep, it's a 15 like foot hall. You go up and you are at, I don't know why they said it's a balcony, which is weird. Because it doesn't look like a balcony to me. But, you know, what do I know? I didn't write this. Um, okay, so you go up and you are at... Are you at F? Where are you at? This is a weird... There is a... Um, I'll see you pop up there. It's not... It doesn't tell me. Um, so you end up in the upstairs hall. It's a hallway with uh, a window at each end and it wraps around the staircase railing. There are framed portraits and mirrors of festoon... Mirrors festoon the walls. Surrounding you with judging looks and dark reflections. So there are portraits just as... That look, like, judgy. Grimacing. And you hear something scratching at one of the many doors. Oh, I go to that door. Does it have a keyhole? No. It... You just hear against it, like... Can I see under it? Is there any space? You see... You, like, look under it and you can see a shadow of, like, something. Okay, I'm gonna crack the door. Just enough to try to see it's, what it, it is. It is locked. Oh, it's but locked. when you do so, you hear... Meow. Oh, gross. Can little <laughs> kitty come out to play? Oh, weird. Little <laughs> kitty is sad and lonely and promises to be good this time. She really does. I'm going to leave. <laughs> I don't okay. like that. Okay. I'm going gonna... to check other doors. Okay. Uh-huh. Huh. See you later. Okay, <laughs> cool. Cool. Um, what that, the fuck? that is it's at. A house. <laughs> it's a sexual house. That was okay. Okay, yeah, just go to the next door. Okay, the next door. There is door to immediately to your left. There is one to your right by the stairs, and then the one that you went to is a little bit down the hallway, and then there are about three more doors in front. There's so many doors. Uh, just go to the one that's closest to the first one I went to. Okay, so the one to the right. So you're at... Okay. Uh, do you knock on it, or... Is it, like, check for traps? Is that something that's worth doing here? Yeah, check for traps. There aren't any real traps. You don't see anything. You knock, are you knocking? Yeah, then you... knock. Uh, you open, and one of the boys opens the, the door, and he goes, Can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for the bathroom. Bathroom is out the back. We have outhouse. Oh. Cool. Is that it? So, uh, as you're looking, you're looking in the back. I mean, there's nothing crazy about the bedroom. It's uh, a neatly made bed. There's a table with an oil lamp on it. There's um, a handsome wooden chest and a slender, like, kind of wardrobe. And you see that the uh, the chest is like filled with toys, and it looks like he was putting his stuff away. And you see the chest, o the wardrobe open, and it looks like he was just putting his clothes away. Uh, and then there's a window with drapes over it. So, little kid room. I give him one of the balls that I got from the roof. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having us in your home. And he slowly just <laughs> click. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. We're best friends. So it was just um just one. One kid in there? Mm-hmm. Okay. So then I want to skip the next door? Okay. And then there is a door that looks like it goes out to the balcony, and then there's one on your left. Do the one on the left. Okay. It is locked. Check for traps? No traps. Can I pick lock it? Lock pick it? Can I pick the lock? Sure. Meanwhile, downstairs, um, there are two um, servants that kind of come out. Ernst is kind of nowhere to be seen. And they go, um, her lady Fiona will be here shortly. Um, if you would like to, to sit down, we will be starting to serve dinner. Uh, great. She's not here now. She's freshening up. Got, got it. Understood. Sure. She thinks? usually likes to say goodnight to her boys before she goes to bed. Wonderful. That's so considerate of her. I mean, they are her pride and joys. Oh, great. 
Good to know. What about her daughter? Where's her daughter? Uh, she is, uh, she is usually in her room. She likes to pretend to be a cat. That's very, <laughs> that's very specific that you wouldn't know. I know. I was kidding. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Cool, we'll, cool, we'll, cool. No doubt. No we'll, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll be over there. Is there any alcohol being served tonight? Yes, there yeah. will be wine served. And we that. are already pouring. We have already poured. That's some great. Wine. I'm not going to drink any. Please don't take it as a slight. Uh, she might. No. Honestly, no. if we are if we are being earnest right now, we are being honest. Wait, I thought Ernst is, was, wasn't here. <laughs> is there anything else you can tell me about uh, Lady Fiona? I'd hate to, to upset Listen her. Listen to everything she has to say and uh, don't try to offend her. Mm, okay. I'm not good at that. Yeah, don't talk. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile. Can I hear any of that going on? Mm-mm. Okay. Meanwhile, upstairs, go ahead and roll a lock picking check for me. Uh, can I have Dirt send message just in an amorphous area, trying to like get Absidy's attention? Okay, what do you want him to uh, just that? Uh, apparently, Lady Fiona's in the house, and she likes to say like goodnight to her kids and stuff. She might be wandering around. Like, be careful. Okay. So as you're lock picking, go ahead and pick the lock for me. What is it? It's proficiency plus dexterity. Do, do, do. 16. 16. Okay, so while you're working and you're moving the rake and things are clicking, you hear in your head, Hello, um, it's, it's, uh, Dirt. Uh, Rufio said that the, uh, lady likes to walk around and say goodnight to her sons before they go to bed. And it kind of cuts off while he's talking. Oh, sh- oh no. Uh, I, th- I think I'd bail. But you hear a click. As it I don't need bail. <laughs> okay, I, I sneak in a little bit. Roll stealth. Uh, 26. 26. So, as you start <laughs> to been seen. <laughs> undo the door, you hear a... <clears throat> Are you lost? Yes, I'm looking for the bathroom. <laughs> And as you turn around, you see this very gaunt, very regal-looking woman. Her hair is gray, and it's pulled back, and she has this kind of crooked nose that kind of goes down, and these fiery gray eyes. And she goes, "Where are you? What were you looking for?" The restroom. And she kind of puts her arm out for you, and she goes, "I'd be more than happy to show my guests to the restroom." Thank you. And yeah, you're kind of like, <laughs> she's grab on her arm. You, you're good. I hope you not think me rude. And you see her take out this little key and she relocks the door and she puts it back in and she goes, oh, one of my servants must have left that open. That's my, uh, that's my bedroom. You'll forgive me. A lady must have her secrets. No. Yes. I'm very sorry. I'm taken. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I have a girlfriend, thanks. Oh, no apologies necessary. Please, let us go down and I will show you to the outhouse. Okay. So, uh, slowly comes down with you and it's the most awkward thing ever because you're like, fuck. And um, as you come down, she goes up to one of the, the servants and she's like, could you please show Mr. Absidy? Mr. Absidy to the outhouse in the back. We will wait him shortly, and then you may serve the food when he returns. They go, yes, yes, madam. And they, they usher you out of the uh, of the house to the back. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Uh, so as you are waiting for Absidy, you hear his voice, and you hear the door close on the front door, and you see this very regal-looking woman. The, the servants pull out the chair at the head of the dining room table for her as she sits down and they push it in and she goes thank you so much for joining me I really do appreciate it and, and oh, it looks like you've dressed up you didn't have to do that for oh, me we, I wish you would have put would, that on the card we, <laughs> I would hate we would hate to offend absolutely we appreciate you and your your kindness in letting us come and dine with you this evening Yes, yes. I hope you enjoy the the meal that we prepared. It's very special. It was my my husband's favorite. Is he joining us as well? I don't see a place setting for him. No, unfortunately, Nikolai 
has passed. Oh, is that recent? I'm sorry. My condolences. It's, uh, thank you. Thank you. It's, um, it's been very hard on me and what with the Burgomaster and being all, all uppity with his new parades every three weeks. It's been, it's taken quite a toll. Well, what, what about, was, was Nikolai the Burgomaster before? Oh, no, no, no. We are just, we are a very regal and well-known family in these parts, and, oh, I just, I just miss him so, and every time the Burgomaster does this new, uh, new parade, he believes it's going to protect the whole town from Strahd, because despite what most people think of him, he is quite merciful, and he has, uh, our, uh, house here has been here for many generations most people fear and dis- uh, misunderstand him mm-hmm. he's a great warrior I'll have you know and you're just kind of like gripping the sides of your your chair I'm just gonna nod so adventurers what brings you to Falaki Am I back from the bathroom? No. <clears throat> okay. You you get to the outhouse and it has like a little moon on it and you're like, bathroom. <laughs> and you kind of look behind you and the servants are like, this is it? Do you need uh, help back to the, the house or? No, I, I got it. But thanks. High five. The and they kind of, they kind of both look at each other and like, okay, we go back inside now. And so they walk back in, and you're you're outside with the outhouse. Well, I'm going to go in for appearances. <laughs> okay. You, and you go in the outhouse, and it's just an outhouse. And I just hang out there for a minute, and mm-hmm. then I leave. Okay. What are you doing when you leave? You coming back to the table? Yeah. Okay. She intimidates me. Like a, oh, God. Like a Patrick, he's like, go upstairs. <laughs> I want it so bad. Um, <clears throat> we were... Uh, accompanying a friend here oh. she, she had never been before we had never been before so oh well Velaki is it's a it's a fair town i would say it's not as good as the others in barovia but it is a fairly nice town uh it seems that way i your your blacksmith pietro is he does fantastic work oh yes pietro is very good i mean there's not much use for swords but he makes a good pot and a good frying pan He's making me some armor. Uh, he's going to upgrade my, my armor for adventuring purposes. For adventuring purposes. So what does one adventure for in Barovia? You hunt game or... Uh, actually, we've been uh, accompanying that. Zoldar to uh, Lake Zorovich quite a bit. Hunting some wolf. Getting some pelts. That is quite interesting. Yes, I. there are abundance of wolves there. So many. There are. So many wolves. Mm. I hate it. <laughs> so, uh, and as Absidy, as you slowly come back down and you sit, and uh, <coughs> how are you sitting? Is it like Rufio is clo- who's closest to Fiona? Mm. Uh, yeah, you're closest. To He's yeah. So you would away. say it'd be Fiona, Fiona at the head of the table, yeah. and then Rufio Dirt, and then what? Absidy Shart. Absidy Shart. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you're starting to be served, and it looks like Absidy. There is a giant fish on a plate for you. Ah. <gasps> Just like home. <laughs> uh, I was uh, informed by the cook before uh, my arrival here while we were bringing you to the bathroom that you didn't like boar. It's, yeah, they're like family to me. That's interesting. Tell me about that. What do you mean they're like family to you? Well, I grew up racing boar. Racing well, not, boar? Yeah. That is very fascinating. So it's kind of like eating a pet. Dead inside. <laughs> Like, if I had a cat, <clears throat> and then you told me to eat cat, I wouldn't want to eat that cat. But what if it was someone else's cat? What if it was a different cat that you didn't know a name of? Do I like that person? And how hungry am I? <laughs> yeah, I mean, how hungry are you now? While this is happening, I cast uh, Detect Good and Evil. Okay. Uh, you do not get any undead or... Fiend? Fiend. Or, yeah, and obviously no Celestial. Yeah balls 
so you're you're probably wondering why I asked you here, and I do appreciate you coming. <sighs> I I'm very unhappy with how the Burgomaster is running the town. Why isn't that? that isn't that kind of sacrilegious to say that? I don't well who are you going to say anything to them? I would uh, hope not. I no, hope that, absolutely not. I hope that what stays at this dinner table remains at this dinner table. If I that's mean, what you would like, Lady I would Fiona, love that. Then that's what will happen. I will be more than happy to keep any secrets you tell me and vice versa. And I, it is no secret, but it's secret. I'm not very fond of the Burgomaster. You've seen what he's done with those stockades. Women, children, anyone who talks badly about him in the blockade. And they put those poor donkey masks on poor children. That's not really a way of fair, wise man, is it? Uh, definitely not. So, your adventurers, your fighters, I would like to hire you. To perhaps... If something were to happen... To the Burgomaster. I'm not saying anything, obviously, of murder or anything like that, but if he were to fall from power, I would be very grateful for that. Who is next in line? It's, uh, it's a little bit of a uh, democratic. There is a town meeting, there is a vote in process. Usually it goes to the next highest family and that would be so happened to perhaps be me and um, if I were to win I think I would be able to run Velaki a lot better a lot fairer as opposed to blockades and deaths and just unfortunate messy things mm -hmm. plus I want to leave something good for my boys for when I unfortunately pass as well because I'm not getting any younger Oh, you couldn't be a day over 31. Thank you. She's like maybe like 50. So you're good. She's yeah. like, well, thank you. You could be a day over 53. <laughs> you're not a day over 90. <laughs> <clears throat> like you hardly uh, looked dead. <laughs> so if you were to have a, a fall from grace, hmm. you would word. be next in line. It's I wouldn't say next in line. It would be a high probability. Perhaps. How would you run Valaki differently? I would be more fair, a little more just. Obviously, people could freely talk about their grievances with me. Um, I wouldn't have a god-awful parade every three weeks to keep Strahd at bay. I think, the way I think of it is, Strahd is a very strong, powerful warrior, no? Uh... Devil on the battlefield, as they described him. He's a great, great warrior. And as long as you don't bother... It's like a wasp nest when you were a child. As long as you don't bother the wasp's nest, nothing happens to you. The wasps go about their day. But if you're outwardly defying the wasps and poking at the nest every three weeks with a celebration, things are bound to happen, and I don't want that to happen to my town. Because despite my house standing, which it will stand, I don't need it to be in ruin. Um, I'm going to excuse myself mm -hmm. and go to the outhouse. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, uh, if one of the uh, one of the servants comes with you and goes, do you need me to show you where it is, sir? It's outside. Uh, I'm pretty good at finding outside. Thank you, though. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes, uh, of course, of course. Uh, and so you, you go wherever you're going. Where I'm you going? gonna go to the outhouse. Okay. But I'm gonna kind of duck behind. <clears throat> I'm gonna duck behind mm -hmm. and do a, a quick prayer to whore. Mm -hmm. And I wanna. Uh, I'm getting a weird bad feeling, yeah. and I wanna I wanna convey that to him and be like, if if some if shit's about to go down, give me a signal, a sign, something. That is actually a spell that you might not have yet. Oh, it's I definitely called, don't have it. It's called uh, or. I mean, I'm just gonna. Pray okay, to him so you'll pray to him, this. and you know, you you say a quick prayer to whore and roll another wisdom saving throw for me as you're praying. Wisdom save. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. You start feeling that like your vision starts getting dark again, and then you just. <laughs> 
You shake it off and it recedes back. I'll go back inside. Okay. And she, oh, I hope, uh, uh, while you're sitting there, she just talks more of, I could pay you very handsomely for it. Um, I know most common folk here have copper and, uh, smaller pieces of wealth. Uh, I have gold that I'll be more than happy to pay you for. Under the table, of course. Hush, hush. Of, of course. course. Taxes. Taxes. <laughs> so, I am offering 500 golds to you very brave four adventurers to perhaps take care of this person. For 500, 500 total or 500 each? Total. Mm. Says Shard, who doesn't care about money. He's <laughs> trying to Jew you up. <laughs> so, what is it about... Why does the Burgermaster think that these festivals keep away, Strahd? Because Strahd hasn't showed up yet. Okay, fair. <laughs> That's a, he thinks it works, but knowing him, knowing the power that he's capable of, he is merely, I believe he's lulling the Burgermaster into a false sense of security before he can strike. You said knowing Strahd. Mm -hmm. How well do you know him? I haven't met him personally. Um, however, I've read a lot about it, about him, and there are different families that uh, follow Strahd, and of course we talk about him, and it's uh, think of it as like a f going to church, like a church of Strahd. Oh, you're part of the Church of Strahd. I wouldn't say it's like a formal church. We worship our own gods. I don't personally, but others are free to do so of Bane and of other gods soon for prosperity and so you might Melora. You might call yourself a fan of Strahd? I'd say I'm, a, I'm, I'm a firm believer in Strahd. So he is a very strong warrior. Yes, he is very strong. Very mighty, that one. Big old muscles. Yes, I, I suppose so. <laughs> Is hey, there a back yet? Yeah, you're back okay. right now. All right. You're like dying. Yeah, there's a piece of me dying. Um, and as you're eating, like the meal is fairly good. Like what you've been eating so far has been beet soup and bread at Irwin's, and the food is like prepared really well, and it actually tastes really good. Uh, do you think we could have the night to discuss amongst ourselves oh, your offer oh, of and get back of to you? Of course. I wouldn't want to rush you into anything. Uh, as you were gone, I had offered 500 gold pieces to the four of you. Oh, split amongst yourselves, that, of course. That is wonderful information. Under the table. Yeah, of well, course. taxes. Hush, hush. Taxes. <laughs> yes, yes. Harumph. <laughs> I have a top hat. <laughs> I'm wearing a top hat. Now, uh, if you excuse me, I, I will be, I would like to see oversee dessert. I hope you all like uh, crème brûlée. Yes. What's that? You're in for quite a treat. Oh, okay. It is a treat. And so she slowly excuses herself as she walks to the kitchen, and it's the four of you, and Shart's, or uh, Shart, Dirt's like, are we going to actually kill someone for money? Are we bounty hunters now? Let, let's wait until we get out of the house. To talk about this. We don't know who could be listening. Okay. Uh, can I just say, am I the only one that's uncomfortable right now? No. No. Not at all. I okay. mean, yes. In hmm. case someone's listening. So, what were you doing up there? I was looking around. I didn't... I, so, I was picking the lock when I heard your voice. And as I started to open the door, she came up behind me. That's so, she, she saw me go into... Get about to go into her room. And then just locked the door and said it was do you, okay. Do you know it's her room, or are you assuming? No, she told me it was her room. What if it's not her room? I mean, it could also not be her room. Are you... Oh, there was this weird cat. Well, they said it was, she said the cat said it was a cat, but it sounded like a person because cats can't talk, I don't think. What? Yeah. It was like a weird... It's do you know what a tricky. furry is? No. <laughs> Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> it. As you guys are talking amongst that, uh, Fiona comes back and she has this little tray and it looks like she actually serves you herself. And there's this these nice little like uh, pie dishes that have uh, it looks like uh, 
burnt sugar on the top. I'll try and, like, get out of my chair and, like, scoot her back in. Oh, oh, thank you. That is very kind of you. Of course, of course. (laughs) Did you guys give your names besides Absidy? Uh, no. No. So, if we are to do business together, uh, I need to at least know who I'm dealing with. No? Absidy. Um, Rufio. Chart. Farrah. Dirt. Oh, and what do I, and if I were to address anything else to you, your correspondence, uh, a letter perhaps that says, a little checkbox that says yes or no, uh, what is this, this little coalition of adventurers, what is your name? Uh, we're called the Estasi de Warsixta. Okay. What is that, what is it? What's language? Brothers of the Sun, it's draconic. Okay, I don't know. If she, I don't think she speaks draconic. She goes, "Ooh, draconic! Very, very foreign. Very." En- I was in. I was taught it in school. You were taught by Duke because he fought dragons. <laughs> uh, well, in school, in school, skill, in skill. So, uh, please, please dig in. Crack. She cracks her creme brulee, and it's just this rich vanilla kind of custard with a uh, little bit of like a uh, berry on it. I crack mine, and it gets all over the table. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and it just, it splatters over and she goes, oh my, you're, you're a wee bit strong. They say that. Uh, anything else you'd like to do during dinner? Anything else you'd like to ask? As things are winding down? What, what could we use to, were the Burgermeister to fall from grace, what political means might we... What blackmail do you have on him? I can round up a few things if you're trying to do it that way. I, I thought usually the most effective is with a knife. We don't like to but rule out. But I wouldn't out. ask that, of course. We don't like to rule out options. Of course not. How do you feel about uh, Isaac? His guard? Yeah. <laughs> Bastard, that one. He has a... Uh, People fear him. You've seen the arm, correct? The bandaged arm. That little prick, I don't know how he's done it. He must have made a pact with something, because when I've met Isaac, he didn't have a right arm. And then one day, he just gets this red leathered demon arm that when someone crosses him, he snaps his fingers. I've seen him incinerate a man in the town square by just doing that. So cool. It's interesting. He'll be a tough cookie to get through, but strong. You you being of the knighthood. Yeah, yeah. Even though, yes, I am asking something to go against the knighthood, of course, but it's not of your castle, of your kingdom. I'm just asking as an adventurer and someone I could hire. Someone I can be honest with. Uh, of course. we. Uh, like I said, we, we would appreciate being able to take the knight. And uh, discuss of amongst course. ourselves. Of course. And you, yes, you with the sneaky fingers. I feel that you might be able to get past and just dig that knife into his ribs. If you were going to do that, of course not. I'm not saying to do that. Right, allegedly. Well, it is quite late. I think I will be retiring soon. So please, uh... Please don't think it rude of me leaving now, but um, I do await very eagerly for your answer. And of course, if this could be remain between us, I would so greatly appreciate that. And if you tell anyone, unfortunately, I don't think anyone would believe you. So do with that what you will. I mean, who are we to say, really? Hmm. And uh, she slowly gets up and she retires upstairs as the servants start collecting plates and you're all just kind of like can, um, can we hear where she goes upstairs you can roll perception uh, 14 you can kind of hear her as she walks up she goes to the first bedroom that you were at where the little boy was and then you hear her go back to where she was before like it takes maybe about like 15 minutes it sounds like she's just checking and looking to see how her sons are doing if they're sleeping yet or not but does she go to the place that she said her bedroom was not yet okay 
It just, it seems like she was in where she was before. And then as you're listening, it sounds like she's going, yes, to where her bedroom is. Okay. Where she said it was. Mm -hmm. This was eye-opening. The fish was good. It was I really good, it. actually. You, it was really good. You sure it didn't upset your stomach and you need to go take a walk? I think you're right. Mm. Ah, the creme brulee. Oh, no. Was so good. That it hurt you. That it hurt me. It I'm was not, filled with bananas. I don't have sugar that, <laughs> sugar that often. <laughs> Nothing like a good old-fashioned banana chart. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, let's go, Let guys. Me go find that outhouse again. Yeah, we'll wait for you outside. I'll <laughs> I'll I'll wait by the front door in case you get lost. Just of, call out for me. Of course, uh, like off to the side. I love all of you, R Rufio. Where am I going? Her, her room her or the room? cat room? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this talking cat. I'm so confused. <laughs> I, I think her room takes priority. Okay. Well, I'm going to the cat room after. <laughs> okay. Would you rather me wait for you inside, outside? What's the preference? Just don't be seen. Okay. Here's a cloak. <laughs> I have. It's one of the stretched out, like, ripped up muddy cloaks from earlier. Thanks. Why, why'd you bring that with you? I have it everywhere. <laughs> I literally have a hundred pounds of stuff. You're not bringing all... You don't bring all that with you. I obviously. do in my mind. In your mind. In your heart. heart my hearts. heart is here. Or my mind is here. Your heart's, heart's heavy, here. just like your chest. Wow. Just like the uh, chest you carry full of cloaks. I'll just be waiting out by the front door. Okay. For you. What's what's the the danger word? <laughs> danger. Danger. Got it. <laughs> I'll hang out down here, too. Cool. And I um, sneak upstairs. Where should I go? Uh, are we just going to hang out outside? Is, is dirt or? sneaky? I don't know. He might be. He's not wearing armor, so it's not like... I mean, I'm not wearing armor either, yeah, but I still don't all, trust Your it. armor classes are at 10. Yeah. Um, except for mine. Except for yours, because... stealth is not strong. Your stealth is usually at a disadvantage when you wear Yeah. Armor. I know I'm not I'm not wearing my armor, but His I'm just saying like my, my modifier isn't good. A plus three. His stealth isn't bad. Bring dirt with me. Do you want to take dirt with you? What? Dirt. High five. Or secret handshake. I guess I'm going out. If there's any danger, I'm going to yell in your head. Yeah. And you can reply to is the it, message. Is it, is I it can reply be to really that? Is it really loud? Yeah. It's, I mean, it depends on the situation. If it's fucking just, scary. Just let me know. Just let me know. Okay. Cool. Okay. No, that's cool. No doubt. He, no, doubt. Uh, no doubt. Oh, man. I'm going to cast Bless on them. Okay. On both of them? Yeah. Dope. And because we're creeping up on uh, hour 30, we're going to end it there. And then next week... We're going to explore the uh, water, washer house and what's it called? Watcher watch house. 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 It's house. spelled H-A-U-S. Watcher oh, house. 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 Watcher house. House. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, us again. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Send us fan mail. Uh, give us a hug if you see us in public, but only after asking. And um, we'll see you next week. Also, top tabling. Check them out. Twitch dot tv slash top tabling show off your cup please. yeah oh they got merch buy that merch, merch. buy that merch <laughs>